Once Spain was a proud empire, a formidable force of nature, and a superpower whose reach surpassed even that of the British Empire before they learned to sail past the equator. Our nation is full of men who equally love and fear God, but the passage of time has been both our great redeemer and destroyer. Through sin and poor governance, we have lost our place in the sun and now struggle to claim what remains. I am Infante Carlos de Bourbon, the rightful heir of the Spanish crown. In Madrid, my niece rules as the illegitimate scion of my brother, backed by the British, who seek to install another liberal puppet in Iberia, having already done so in Portugal. The French invasion of Spain shattered our nation, and despite eventually pushing them out, we now face a new threat, civil war and the shedding of more Spanish blood. But we are not defeated yet. In the mountains of the Pyrenees, we prepare for a great undertaking to push back the liberal, the heretic, and the foreigner from our shores as we did with the beast in France. With God on our side, all things are possible. But even if we triumph, our colonies are lost, taken by traitors and their British allies. Only Cuba and the Philippines remain loyal to us. If we are to see this Spanish Empire rise again, we will need conviction, bravery, and unwavering determination. But the men of Spain will never lack these virtues. I invite you to join me in this Victoria 3 roleplay multiplayer game, where we will delve into the turbulent 19th and early 20th centuries, exploring the complex web of political and military alliances as nations vie for power and influence. Sit back, relax, and immerse yourself. We're mobilizing. Oh, we're gonna struggle so hard for arms here. How's the mobilization? I really want to push. No, we're at 67. We gotta wait. I really want them to push us so we can counterattack too. Yep, here they go. They're going. They're looking for a battle right now. Look at that defense we've got. Huge. They will not push us like this. If we can keep these arms flows in here, we will, may do all right. We need to let them basically push us repeatedly, lose a bunch of equipment and men, and uh, lose all their morale, and then we can counter push. Like I said, this will be a very hard war to win. All right, we, we are routing them here. We also routing them here, even without a secondary general. I'm, I want them to do one more offensive push on us. I want us to fully mobilize, and then I'm gonna try a push. We have to get that. Good, victories. Come on, I hope, come on, push again, push again. Are we on mobilization? 97%? Be able to win this. It will be close. We gotta make something happen here. Oh, we have the advantage! Big! Poor visibility! Oh, we rolled a blunder, but he rolled poor visibility. We've actually killed more, too. Oh, this is- this is big. We are gonna win this battle. They ran out of soldiers before they ran out of, uh, morale. Oh, look at that! That's huge! We are on the doorstep of Madrid right now. Come on! Jose Ramon Radil, I believe! Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, this is close. We're pretty evenly matched here. We do have the offensive advantage. Oh, we roll logistics secured and he rolled mud. This is this is big. If we slow down, I'll switch to them. But if we just keep this rolling, there's no reason to stop here. The forces of Infante Carlos are advancing towards Madrid. This is literally a battle of the battle for Madrid. So big. This historically is where they lost. They got right up to Madrid like this because he's got four fresh commanders. I'm putting everything on one. I'm literally just throwing a Hail Mary right now, which is the only shot we have to win this war. Exhausted, good. Blunder, God. We can't afford to be losing men like this either. He's got the morale, but he's out of soldiers. Greetings. Hello there. I am the ambassador from uh, the Kingdom of France. Welcome we to the uh, the Battle of Madrid. We are currently engaged in a battle. What can I do for you, Ambassador? Well, as you are apparently winning, we just want to tell you we have no bad intentions towards you. Um, just could you please spare the royal family? Um, of course. Is Isabella is my niece. I have no harm against her. My issue is with the wife of my brother. The liberal from Sicily. Her I can make no promises for. The thing is, I want to cooperate with you in the long term, but we need to be on the same page. And if you're too infamous, I won't be able to do so. I've said it before. I have no intentions towards my own family at all. 
Okay, just to let you know. Um, I'm gonna stop recalling you so that you can rebuild your country. That would be very appreciated. We're, we're glad to see that the French uh, will, will be aiding us. So yes, just uh, if you if you want us to cooperate, you just need to tell me when you want uh, to, let's say, important uh, foreign policies or, or expansion. Of course. We'll make you very well known. As, as I've said in my letter to the king, I, I want a good working relationship with the French if we work together. Uh, many, especially the liberals, have tried to paint me as some extreme radical. I can assure you, I am not. I represent the staunch interests of the royal family of Spain. Traditionalism and history come first to me. I, I am no radical. Yes, but, uh, you know, it's more about the uh, UK. They saw the, the government you're fighting as the legitimate ruler. Of course, they want a puppet state in Spain. Something I'm sure that you and your government do not seek. Okay, that's great. Uh, I might need to go back to Paris. Very well. Thank you, Ambassador. We're winning another battle, too. We're really pushing here. Oh my gosh. I don't want to. We really can't slow down, but we need to. Here we go. The last of the defenders. Our economy is actually stabilized. God, our country will be so war-torn. There we go. Big. Another battle. We're outnumbered, but our troops are better. The Battle of Old Castile. This general is going to become a national hero. General Jose Ramon Radil. If I can, I may make him our prime minister. I don't know if we can set that with VFM, but this man deserves everything. <laughs> yeah, this is getting rough here. We're losing morale quick. They're going to go on the offensive here. We're going to have to hold them. We need to win this next battle. We're really going to lose all our momentum and all of our territory we've occupied. We won! Oh my god, we won! Holy fuck, we won! I walked into today thinking we were gonna lose. I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god, we actually won it. That is so huge. Yeah, hey, hey, take a second here. Holy shit. I didn't expect that. We're in charge now. We've won. We have successfully pushed out the upstart and restored the conservative values. The first law we will, of course, implement is the return of the Salic laws. To make sure that in the future, only men may inherit. God intended for men to rule. And by him, I will see it so. Landowners are in control. The Catholic Church, very, very powerful. Let's bring the armed forces into our government too. Um, so yeah, we're an expert political operator. We are ambitious, of course, when we are traditionalist. We have all the bureaucracy we need for some good trade routes too. So let's get to work on those. Import iron, Dutch, Ching, and British. We'll just take whatever gets us. I can fix these when we run out of bureaucracy for now. We just need to stop the bleeding here. Uh, furniture so we don't have like only poor people. We'll get to work on building tool factories as well. We're gonna need those. There's no way around that. Whatever surplus of, we'll start our exports too. Fuck tons of sugar, let's start exporting that. We'll encourage urban services in Catalonia too, which will decrease, uh, increase the efficiency of our trade routes there. We need more iron so, 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 so badly. But there's no one to buy it off of because everyone else's navy also costs iron now, which is one of the things I added with the naval changes. So we might just have to downgrade our navy. This is physically painful, but we have to build some manner of standard of living here. This is uh, Frederick III from Prussia. I'd be like to congratulate you on your victory. Keep Spain a conservative and traditionalist monarchy. Thank you, Ambassador. I uh, appreciate your words. I also would like to formally thank you and your government for the arms shipments given to us during the war. The Prussian officers were, were very useful in getting the uh, conscripts of Spain. They did not lack of enthusiasm, but they certainly lacked in military prowess, and the officers who chose to fight with us did much. Good to know, and we would like to know if we could potentially further um, the relations between the Spanish government and uh, Prussia, as we see your government and your values are much more aligned with the conservative monarchies of, uh, of Prussia. Any conservative nation is one that we would be happy to work with. Our economy is very much in need of rebuilding. We would be very interested in, with a closer trading ties with Prussia. We know you are a mercantilist economy, but in their process of uh, reforming, I believe, but there are many goods in Prussia that could be in Spain, and we have access to a plethora of goods in the New World, such as sugar and coffee, which I'm sure your nation is in need of. Yes, very much, as we are trying to expand many uh, manufacturing industries at this uh, very critical moment. Would you be interested in pursuing closer economic ties? A good way, perhaps, to build a closer relations between our countries? Yes, I would be uh, interested in beginning to set the seeds of uh, economic interest uh, within the Iberian Peninsula. In that case, I'll wait for the mutual interest and I'll begin uh, trading with you then. 
Got to start building that. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Hello there. Hello. I am Thank an ambassador you. sent with uh, King Carlos of Spain. Uh, we would like to discuss our current position under the Spanish crown. And we would very much like to discuss your position under the Spanish crown as well. This is perfect. Uh, what would you, uh, did you have something you wish to, to speak about to start off? With? We would like to uh, first uh, express our concerns about the sovereign nations that border us and they threaten our territorial integrity and we would like to be able to deal with them. However, under our current legal contract, we are not able to initiate any uh, foreign play. Well, well to start off with, is, um, is your is your current army capable of dealing with it? I mean, we could send ours, but we are currently rebuilding after the Civil War and I'd prefer not to. Uh, if you are able to take them on yourself, I'd be happy to launch that play right now and uh, allow your troops to do yeah, that. Yeah. We are de definitely more than... We will begin that play for you immediately. I'll send officers and a small detachment of forces, but the majority of the Spanish uh, military uh, will not be sent. But you look as though you are capable of dealing with it. Any That's other concerns on. you have for the Spanish crown at this time? Nothing here. Just I would like to formally recognize King, uh, king Carlos as the rightful leader of Spain and his king, and that the Philippines is more than willing to remain loyal. Uh, we're, we're glad to hear you say that, and I will relay that message to the king. Uh, now, uh, there are a few topics I came here to discuss with you at the bequest of King Carlos himself. Uh, to start off with, we wish to have a talk about the economy of your country. It, it's pretty, I mean, clearly stated that we will continue the policies of Spain in the past and that we will give you large degrees of autonomy in this capacity, although we do not wish to see any competition with more specialized Spanish businesses. So specialized goods, if you need them for construction things are, of course, fine, but we do not wish to see you developing, for example, a gloss market that would compete with Spain itself. Uh, we are in particular need an interest for uh, further sugar coffee for exports uh, as well as, as dyes for textiles and things like that if you'd be able to uh, to focus on that. We're not going to come here and mandate it. We understand. We are more than willing to base our economy on agrarian output and uh, along with light industry for domestic needs. In the future, uh, Spain is rebuilding. The civil war is very costly and although uh, God's own monarch won, it will take us a little bit of time to rebuild. When we do so, Asia is going to be one of the regions that the king is very interested in. Uh, so as soon as we are able to rebuild a bit of the Spanish main and get our economy going again, we are very interested in seeing the Philippines grow more powerful in the region. That is very good to hear. Anything else so, uh, I can do for you or any messages that can relate to the king? No, just the current threats that we want to deal with, and that's about the biggest problem we currently have. Very well. Uh, we will start a war with the Sulu as soon as this one is done for you as well, if that's acceptable, so you can bring all of the Wayward Islands into control. Uh, that is very acceptable, yes. Good. Thank you for your time, Ambassador. I will take uh, my leave and return home to Spain. Catholic Church is loyal. Uh, loyal. Our birth rate went up. That's going to be very big. Our interest makes up half of our deficit, which is a good thing. I may just go for the scaling economy route on this. Small communities of fugitive slaves hidden away in remote areas of Puerto Rico have become targets to local slaveholders, fearing that they could assist in potential uprisings. Do we want to attack them or not? We'd attack them. We absolutely would. He is going to make dyes for us. We're going to go into textiles. It's a good transition. Good in the middle. We can we can jump off of economically. All right, let's look through our modifiers. Bacalao, Latin vineyards. We make a lot of wine production, which makes sense. Real Madrid, urban center throughput. Arsenal de Cartagena, that's fair. Valencia was the home of the Spanish fleet for all of history. So that's where we want all of our shipyards at. That's huge, actually. Barcelona has Dracinas Realis de Barcelona, which gives art output and urban output. Marcelo Bonillo from the Intelligentsia has been touring Aragon recently, both gathering testimonies for and propagating the abolitionist cause. Slaveholders in the state view this as an attempt to agitate a violent revolt among slaves and demand Bonilla be expelled from the state at once. We are a very traditionalist, conservative king upholding the old school values uh, so we will expel him we have legacy slavery so it's our colonies that still have slavery we just kind of allow it in order to get cheap goods um because slavery is, is banned formally in spain proper but in the colonies it's not so we just kind of profit off the system all right our colony is going to fight that war with the sulu too so we will uphold our promises to them and allow them to get stronger which is only going to be a good thing for us